What up Sailor Senshi, I'm Sailor Snubs, welcome to my YouTube channel. This channel is all about Sailor Moon news and reviews, so if you are as obsessed with Sailor Moon as I am, then definitely subscribe so you can be a part of my 500 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a slew of items from my collection, so I hope that you're as excited as I am. Today, I have received a whole bunch of boxes from Japan as well as a few different merchandise stores in America. So I decided to put together this video for y'all today, and it's all brand new items that you could get at stores currently. So hopefully these things are still in stock if you are interested, and if not, that's totally fine. I hope that you will find something in this video that you like though. Now since all of these are currently still available or at least hopefully they are then I'm going to go ahead and tell you where I got them as well so that you can go to those stores and purchase them yourselves. I will also put links down in the show notes as well as pricing so that you know how much each of these things cost. All right so I'm going to go ahead and get started with everything that I was able to purchase from Premium Bandai. So Premium Bandai does sell a whole bunch of items for Sailor Moon and these specifically do require a proxy service because Premium Bandai does not ship overseas. At least currently they don't. They might in the future, they might ship overseas Sailor Moon items, but right now they don't. So I'm going to go ahead and break into the first two items. So much packaging material. Okay, so these might look familiar to you, and the reason is because these were sold previously a couple of years ago. However, they re-released them at Premium Bandai, so you could still purchase them online. So this first one right here, isn't it beautiful? It's so pretty. So this is a little stationary pen that you could purchase. And uh, the box for it is actually really pretty. It's this pretty prism holographic type of print. And the back of it has this full scale Sailor Moon print on the back. It's really, really pretty art. And the front has this pretty filigree ribbon texture. So this first one is the Kaleida Moon Scope Wand, and this is pretty much the closest I have gotten to getting one of the Proplicas. Uh, this is fully plastic on all sides, and as you can see, the little wings move on both of the sides of this. And it looks like it is a pen. So you can extend this all the way out if you want to use it as a pointer. However, I believe if you unscrew it like that, it also turns into a pen so you can use it as a pen as well. I prefer pens that have a little bit of cushioning for my fingers so this will most likely just end up being displayed up there with my other prism stationary pens. So this other one features eternal sailor moon on the front and on the back it has a little bit of information about how to use it but this is the eternal tiara version of the prism stationary. Now if I open this box Okay, so this one has two pieces, which is not surprising given that it's based off the Eternal Tiara. Uh, the bottom piece here, let's see if it does anything. Oh yeah, okay, so it has a little spot where it comes out so you can set the top part in there. However, I'll just keep that in there so I don't lose it. And then this piece right here, which is also fully plastic, uh, it also extends so you can use it as a pointer. However, you can also unscrew it and use it as well as a pen. Ta-da! These are actually really, really nicely well designed. So I love that they have little crystals on them and I like that they have the little chrome finishes and some of the pieces are see-through, very similar to the actual wands from the anime. So they're really, really pretty and I think that any collector would really enjoy having these. All right, in your box you go. Okay, this next item that I received, if only I could read Japanese faster so I wouldn't be sitting here trying to read it all night. This one, I believe, is a desk rack, but we'll see. It is! Yay! Oh wait, this is the wall one. Okay, so this is a wall rack that you can set on your wall, obviously. It has little bumpers on the back so it won't mess up your wall when you hang it. There's also nails included so you can screw this into your wall, which is great. And the places that you put the nails in are down at the bottom, just so you know where those go. So this came in a couple of different versions. There's, I believe, a black one and this pink one for Sailor Moon, and there's a white one for Princess Serenity. So I decided to get the pink one that says Sailor Moon on the front, and then it has a Sailor Moon silhouette right there. I love that it has so many hooks, so this is going to be awesome for hanging some of my bags from or all of my different little Sailor Moon treasures. So I believe... I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Maybe I will take down that poster that I have over there and hang this over there, or maybe on the back of the door. I'm not sure yet, but it's gonna go in here somewhere and this will be something that I put a bunch of my collections on. 
I also love that you can use this as a display stand too, so you can put things on top of it as well. I don't believe they have Princess Serenity in stock anymore, which is one of the reasons why I got the Sailor Moon one, but it's still so cute. I'm really happy that I was able to get this. Okay, and now for this gigantic box as I put my knife way too close to my face. Okay, and this one is the desk rack. And it's huge. And it was, ugh, okay. This one's huge. It was also very expensive to get sent to America because the package was large, but I just dealt with it because I really wanted it. So this one is the Princess Serenity desk rack. So this can go basically in front of your monitor or in front of your computer, and you can put all sorts of things on it. Uh, this little spot right here is where you can charge your phone. So where is my phone? Oh, here it is. I wonder if this will work with a popper. Probably not. A little pop socket. Yeah, so you can stick your phone on it like so. Isn't that cute? And then the back of it has a place for like post-it notes or pens or whatever. You can stick letters here and you can stick other little trinkets on the inside. There's plenty of room at the bottom too. So you like if you have a keyboard that you slide out of your way a lot of times, you could stick your keyboard under there. I like the back of it too. It has a really pretty Princess Serenity silhouette. And then on the back it says TPT Sunstar Stationery Co. Limited. Pretty filigree on the front too. That's really cute. This is nice. It's durable, it's metal, so it's really, really nice and sturdy. This is gonna last a long time and it's useful too, which I really appreciate. Okay, so the next thing that I got from Premium Bandai might still be available, but don't quote me on that. Uh, this one is the fountain pen. Okay, so first things first, we have some directions right here, so I will read over those later. And then we have the actual box that these come in. Uh -huh. Okay, so the front of this says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, and it's a light pink box. Ooh, look at that opening. Very nice. Ooh, and it's got a little ribbon to keep it from falling off or anything. So there's a little bit of foam in here to keep it covered and keep it safe. There's a little thing for directions, I believe that's what this is. Yeah, it looks like directions. Okay, and then we have our pink ink. So it's called Sailor Pink, and I'm not going to open this because knowing me, I would spill it everywhere. But this is pink fountain pen ink that you can dip your fountain pen in. And then this is the fountain pen. So it's based on the transformation pen of Sailor Moons. Ooh, it's pretty. It's got a really sparkly gemstone at the very top, and it looks like... You unscrew it like so, and it has the fountain pen on the inside right here. And this looks like the kind that you just dip into the ink, however, I could be wrong. You screw it back on by simply screwing on the top and the bottom pieces, and it does have a little place right here so you can clip it onto like your t-shirt or something. There's also a Tuxedo Mask black ink as well, but it's black ink, so I wasn't really interested in collecting that too. Uh, this display box is really pretty. I'm gonna keep all of this together and I'm going to take very good care of this because it's a little fragile bit of a piece. I do not want that ink getting everywhere because knowing me it would and the next item I received is a ring from you treasure So the you treasure boxes look like this and sometimes you can find these items in the Sailor Moon store as well Since I ordered this online from the you treasure website I also received this cute little microfiber towel that came with it, too So the item of jewelry that I received is a ring and this ring I got in my normal sizing uh, However, you do have to translate it from the Japanese Japanese sizes over to the American sizes. Uh, the box that it comes in, I'm going to show you close-ups of the ring because I don't have it in here. I already took it out and wore it, but it says Sailor Moon U Treasure on the front, and then it has nice nice padding and nice texture on the inside of it to keep the ring safe. This ring also came with a cute little Sailor Moon 25th anniversary card in the box, so I'll just leave that in the box because I'm not going to do anything with it. But basically this ring is silver, it's fully silver, and it's got a cute little cubic zirconia on the inside of it. And the cubic zirconia is actually extremely sparkly. Uh, whenever I wear this around my friends, they're like, did you get engaged again? And I'm like, no, I just wanted it because it's a Sailor Moon ring and it has a little heart compact on the side. It's a very pretty ring for any collector, especially if you like dainty little rings. This is perfect. 
All right, so this next item came in some simple packaging with a toy sticker on the back of it, but this is the Sailor Moon 2019 uh, schedule book. So this one features all of the 12 months of 2019, and each of the months has a different character coinciding with it. Uh, each of the pages is linked to one month, and that's it. And then at the end, we have notepad style pages, and each of those features some really cute art at the bottom. We also have some graph pages with cute art. There is a page that looks more like a post-it note with a bunch of Sailor Moon graphics in the background. Uh, there's also a page for addresses, a world map, and there's a couple of subway route maps. These are written in Japanese, so good luck being able to translate them if you don't know Japanese like me. I'm pretty sure this is the Tokyo Railway map, judging on those first two characters in the kanji up in the corner. But they also have a subway map for a bunch of different cities, and there's personal data information that you can fill in on the very back page. Uh, this is a really, really pretty schedule book. However, it is fairly thin, so if you are a writer, like me and you like to put a bunch of information on each of the days this is probably not for you uh, so this one will probably end up on my little Facebook sales page or my eBay sales because I don't think that I'll take use of this they did come out with a couple of other 2019 schedule books that are a lot bigger that require a zipper to go around them because they're huge I did pre-order one of those too but that doesn't come out until November so this is the first one that they an announced and the other ones will be coming out then this one did come in a couple of different styles. I got the Sailor Moon version, but there was also a really pretty Black Luna version as well. Uh, that one, one of my friends on Instagram, Chibi Meister, reviewed, so definitely check out her Instagram page if you want to check out that schedule book. Okay, so this one I pre-ordered from a proxy, and the proxy, it's so cute, they sent me one of the flyers. I do collect these flyers, so I love it whenever I can get these cute little advertisements from Japan. They're adorable. So cute. So this one is the Multi-Carry Bomb Display Cloth Set, and this one should be the fan club version because that's the one that I asked for. However, this one does include a few different bombs. There's three different bombs, and it also includes a little microfiber cloth too. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Gotta love plastic! I just realized that it has the perforated plastic around the edges, so I could have just done that instead of knifed it. I'm dumb. Okay, so now that I have this open, I can actually pop it fully open and see what's on the inside. Yay! And I got the right one! Woohoo! Okay, so this comes with three bombs. The bombs are the Moon Prism Power Bomb, the Moon Crystal Power, and the Moon Cosmic Power Bomb. And each of these, again, are lip bombs. It looks like that when you first open it. It's beautiful. Now, the first thing that we have in here is the little microfiber cloth. So again, this was just available for the Japanese Sailor Moon fan club. So if you're in the American fan club, sorry, you don't get one, which kind of stinks and it makes, the, <laughs> it makes the international fan club kind of a waste of money. But this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? It's got Usagi and Mamo-chan on it and it says Miracle Romance at the top. This is one of my favorite pieces of art from Naoko. So I really appreciate having some piece of merchandise that also includes that art on it. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this up nice and gentle and put it back in there. And I'm going to open these lip balms and see what they smell like. They each come in their own little plastic packaging. Okay, do these say what kind they are? No. Okay, so each of these comes in its little bomb case and the cases are plastic and some of them have cute little plastic jewels on the front of them. Uh, when you open it, it says Miracle Romance on the front and it has a little bit of plastic, uh, a plasticky design on there. And then the bomb is located on the bottom side of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub this and see how it smells. That's cute. I can't tell if it's flavored or not. It doesn't seem very flavored if it is. So that's the first one. The second one is the second Sailor Moon Compact. This one is pink and it has the same kind of art on the front of it. And the third one is the Heart Compact and this one has, uh, this last one has kind of a strawberry b colored bomb on the inside. Yeah, none of them smell like anything in particular. So I'll try them out and see if they actually taste like anything or if they're just like 
unflavored. But this is really cute. Even the little display box is, is super cute. So I will probably keep the display box too because it's adorable. So the next items that I received are from a seller on Instagram and I believe these are from Sailor Moon Garage Sale. But the first thing that I got is this Sailor Moon novella. Uh, this is a novel. So it does have some art on the inside of it, but it is mostly written words and they are in Japanese, including kanji. So if you don't know Japanese, have fun trying to read it. But this does have a really cute little book sleeve on it and it's fully color on the front as well as the back. And it does have this little strip that comes with it too, this obi, book obi. I don't know anything about this book. It has chapters in here, Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Masquerade, Sailor Jupiter, Tuxedo Mask. So perhaps it is a novel that is based on the comic book. That's what my guess would be. The first picture that you see in there is from the original manga. So maybe that is what this is about. It even has the arcade guy in there. And let's see what else is in here. It has Sailor Moon's first trans transformation and a lot of words. So <laughs> it looks like a really cute book and this is something that I will strive to read one day since I do study Japanese. I also received some really cute tape, some uh, washi tape from the seller on Instagram, as well as one of these little guys. Now you may be wondering what these are. I'm sure you've seen them online if you haven't already. I believe these were freebies that you could buy from like, or that you could get from like 7-Eleven, but they're basically just little baggies. Uh, they're just little plastic baggies. They have a little Ziploc up at the top. And if I undo this, you'll see that it opens like that. So it's just a little baggie that has some art on the front and the back. So it's supposed to look like a jar, but it's not actually a jar. Um, I think it would be really cool if they released some jars with some Sailor Moon art on them because I like jars. I think jars are cool, but this is just a cute little plastic thing. Okay, so I ordered this item from a proxy as well. This is a card holder. The card holder is made out of like faux leather material and it's got a little icon on the front that's made out of metal. And it looks like it has plenty of room for my clipper card in here, as well as maybe a few bills, which will be nice for commuting. There's also a little pen holder on the strap, so that's cute. And the thing that I really liked about this one, and one of the reasons why I wanted it, is because it extends. So I can stick this on my purse, for example, and easily slide it over so that I can swipe it whenever I go to the BART station here in the San Francisco Bay Area. So I like the art on this. I like that it feels really quality and I like that it extends. That's really cool. But it looks like I could also like stick this around my neck if I wanted to. I'm not going to. I'm probably just going to take off this strap and stick it on my purse. Very cool. Okay, now this item came out a while back, but one of my friends decided to pre-order it for me because he's awesome. Thank you so much, El Kintaro. You're amazing. He's one of my friends, not a proxy service or anything like that, just somebody that I've grown to know in uh, Japan, and he's one of my very, very good friends, so I really appreciate that he was able to go out and pre-order this for me and get it shipped to his place. So this is the Wicca Sailor Moon Collaboration Watch, which came out a little while back. At the time, it was around I think $300 or something like that USD uh, but it is a 25th anniversary watch it's got a really really pretty display box and it has a little jewel in the middle of the moon when you open it you'll notice that this watch is not extremely overtly Sailor Moon uh, which is one of the things that I really liked about it so I can wear this with pretty much anything uh, this also came with a cute little flyer that has some information on the back which I can't read because it's in Japanese and here's the watch itself. So on the front of it with the two hands, it has a couple of little stars, which is really cute. And with the numbers, instead of being normal numbers that you would find on a watch, there's a crescent moon as well as the inner senshi symbols. On the back of the face, it says 25th anniversary Sailor Moon. So it's got that same logo. And those are the only things that really make it Sailor Moon. There's also a little jewel for the piece that lets you move the time around back and forth. Oh, it's so pretty. I've wanted this watch for a really long time, so I'm so happy that I finally have it and I can wear it. I can't wait to wear this. It's just so dainty and so pretty. Now, if you are interested in getting a watch for yourself, another watch was just released at the Sailor Moon store for pre-order. So you can go over to the Sailor Moon store in Japan and pre-order it if I believe you might have to have a Japanese address. But it's the first anniversary Sailor Moon store watch and it's quite extra. 
as you can see from the photos, but it's so cute. So I definitely decided to order one of those too. But thank you, El Kintaro. This watch is amazing. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And it's everything that I could have wanted. El Kintaro also sent me one of these flyers, which is so cool. I still don't have this wallet, but it's on my eBay list. So I'm just waiting to find one for cheap enough and then I'm gonna buy it. He also sent me some Japanese wafers and these look delicious. I can't wait to eat them. And some gashapons. And I know exactly what these are based on the design and based on how big these are. These look to be the transformation wands. So I can't wait to open these and display them. Yay! I don't have a lot of gashapons myself, so I'm really excited about these. All right, so the next thing that I ordered was a slew of fan-made pins. So this first one is from Stammy Studios, and I backed this on Kickstarter so that I could get it, but it's a Luna Sleeps on a Cloud pin. It is so cute. There's a whole bunch of jewels. It has a bunch of little cute trinkets hanging down from the cloud, and Luna, just, she just looks so peaceful on that cloud, so I love this pin. It's adorable. I also got a couple of pins from Girls Union, and Girls Union provided a couple of little extras as well with these pin orders, but one has Chibi Chibi and Usagi together, and the other one has Chibi Chibi by herself, and she has some really pretty wings and her own staff. So these are really cute. Next is from Sweet Serenity Pins. This is actually a Disney pin, so I won't go into detail with that one, uh, but I also received these really cool lace trinkets, I guess you could call them, but these I'm going to put on my Luna shoes that I got from Grace Gift from Taiwan. Uh, I got both Luna versions and I got Artemis versions, and I will put these on my shoes and then show you how you actually stick them on there so that you understand what you can do with these. But Sweet Serenity Pins sells these. They're really cool, they're very unique, and there's something that you can't find anywhere else. So I was really interested in getting these. And lastly, I got some pins from Studio Min Bin Bin. <laughs> it's a really cute name. These were all Kickstarter backed as well. These are lovely pins that she created. Um, one features Elios and Chibi Moon. Another one features Neo Queen Serenity and King Endymion. And the other one features Luna and Artemis as humans, but it also has Luna and Artemis as kitties. So I decided to back three of those from her Kickstarter. All right, so a couple of items from Box Lunch gifts which are currently available and they're rather inexpensive too. I got a slew of new socks because a girl can't have enough Sailor Moon socks and these are really cute socks because they have Luna on them and things. A moon stick! I love the moon stick socks. Those are probably my favorite. I decided to purchase this really pretty pink mug as well. This features a sparkly moon stick on the front and it's made out of metal as well as glass for the actual mug. It is transparent pink so you can see your liquids on the inside of it. It's big like a regular American mug which is super nice for anybody who drinks lots and lots of liquids. I also noticed that mine has a little chip at the top of it. It's not a huge chip, it probably won't cause any concerns but Quality control. Not the biggest thing that you can see with a lot of American merchandise. It is a bit of an issue. So this one does say that it can only be hand washed. You should not soak it. Don't microwave it. So I will hand wash this only to keep it nice and secure and I will be using this. They also had a matching one for any Legend of Zelda fans too. It's a green mug that's transparent and then I believe it had the Hyrule sword on it or maybe it was the shield. I think it was the sword. Box Lunch also has this really cute Moonstick keychain, so I just had to get it because it was really pretty and it looks like it's pretty premium item, so it's very cute. And they also have this really nice Sailor Moon t-shirt. I believe I'm wearing a size small right now, but they have multiple sizes and the bottom of it has uh, Japanese for, I believe it says Pretty Senshi or Bishoujo Senshi. Pretty Soldier. This is an item that I got from a reseller uh, secondhand on Facebook, but this is a Shibuya 109 Sailor Moon luggage tag. So I ended up getting two of these luggage tags, one for my checked baggage and then one for my carry-ons. So it'll be really nice to have this on hand whenever I'm traveling for work. Okay, and last but not least was a box from Anime Osaka on Facebook, so I'm really happy that I was able to find them on there for this package. Uh, they gave me a couple of bonus items. One is this My Melody and Sailor Moon poster, which features all the characters as their My Melody versions. It's very cute. I also received this gachapon, and as I mentioned before, I don't really collect gachapons, and one of the reasons is because a lot of sales, uh, a lot of sellers online will end up shipping you the items anyway with a free gachapon as kind of a bonus, uh, which I really appreciate. So thank you very much, sellers. So this one features candies, 
And these are the really good Japanese candies. I can't wait to eat these. Yay! So cool. It also features what looks like a Sailor Uranus bow necklace. So that's really cute too. I'll probably keep this in the packaging and then display it, but I'm definitely eating those candies. So the reason why I went to Anime Osaka for this purchase is because they were selling these microfiber towels as a whole lot. Uh, these certain towels you can only find in crane games around Japan, specifically in Tokyo, and usually these crane games only cost a few dollars. However, they take a few rounds for you actually to collect the items that you want out of the crane games. So a lot of times you'll go to these places and like the sellers will kind of help you out if they notice that you're having some trouble. But a lot of times you'll also notice that like some people will come in they won't know how to play a crane game and then you can come out and end up getting the free item because they've shifted it around inside the big crane machine long enough that it's almost there so you can win it yourself but I am really bad at crane games and I'm not in Japan so I decided to go ahead and purchase these now unfortunately these microfiber towels are showing up on eBay and places like that for like 40 or 50 bucks each I was able to get each of these for around $15 each which I thought was a very very good deal because it probably took them that much money to get them out of the crane machines in the first place. And you know me, I really like collecting my towels. So I'm going to go ahead and open these out of the packaging and show you what they look like. Okay, so I'll start off with Sailor Mars here because she's on the top of the pile, but you'll notice that each of these microfiber towels are mainly display towels. These are way too small to put around your body if you're getting out of the shower, and they're also way too large to carry around as hand towels. These would most likely be used as like face towels, really, uh, but anything else you probably wouldn't want to use them for. Personally, I think they're too beautiful to use, so I will be displaying these up on the wall or somewhere like that. But each of these features the Sailor Scouts in their pajama outfits from a previous Ichiban Kuji collaboration, uh, for example, this is Sailor Mars in her really cute pajamas, and it says Ray at the bottom. Here is Amy, or Sailor Mercury, super cute. Here we have Makoto, or Sailor Jupiter, looking super pretty and snazzy. And then, of course, we have Minako as Sailor Venus, and of course she's putting on lipstick because that girl is super extra. The Chibiusa one is really cute. She's got a little plush Helios, which I think is adorable. And then we have a super sleepy Hotaru, and she looks so cute. And we cannot forget Usagi, who has her Luna pillow, just like the Luna pillow that you were able to purchase over the summertime, and she looks so pretty. Now each of these microfiber towels also came with a little piece of paper that has a Toei sticker on it so you know it's legit, as well as a little bit of flyer information on it about the different ones that you can collect. Now you will notice that three of them are missing, Setsuna, Haruka, and Michiru. Of course, we have Sailor Pluto, Sailor Neptune, and Sailor Uranus. They came in version 2, but I don't have version 2 on me right now. However, I am hoping to collect those ones as well. I would love to have the entire set of microfiber towels, but I think that's a pretty good start. Okay, so that is everything for my unboxing today. It was a long one, but there was a lot of stuff for me to get through. I did take a bunch of trips in August, so I pre-recorded before then, but I have not had any time to pre-record any videos after that time. So now I am ramping up the recordings again and you will see a bunch of videos coming out pretty soon. So I hope you enjoyed that and make sure to like and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions or if you just want to share which of these items was your favorite with me. Don't forget I'll be doing a 500 subscriber giveaway so definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And I did purchase some other new items however I'm going to hold off on showing you those until another video when I do a specific review of those, like the Sailor Neptune Proplica. Thank you so much for watching, and again, my name is Sailor Snubs. Jenny.